welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we're going to come on here and discuss an exciting new product. So Sephora, you know they have all their favorites that they come out with. They come out with Sephora favorites like throughout the year. So it's not like specifically for the holiday season. They have Sephora favorite sets throughout the year. So the specific set we're going to talk about today is the Sephora favorites Trending Beauty's Most Coveted. So here is what the actual box looks like. So as you can tell, there's a lot of products in here that are pretty exciting to try out. This is a $75 price and it has a $219 value. So you're getting a lot of a big bang for your buck, I guess you'd say. So there is a lot of items in here. So let's get to this little review because I want to review and preview, I guess. I have everything that is in this box. I have tried it all out so I can tell you my first impressions on these products, whether or not I think that they're actually worth this box itself or I think you should pass on this box. So let's get to this box. So let's open the inside so you can see what it looks like. What? It's empty. They didn't give me any products. No, I'm just kidding. I've already taken all the products out because if you're going to sit here and take all these products out with that plastic part in there, it's super hard to get out. And I didn't want to spend like 20 minutes trying to pop them out on camera because they're noisy and hard to get out. So let's start with the first product that I have on my lips. It is the Urban Decay Mega Matte in the shade 714. So here is the shade bot. Here's the shade. And this is a full size lipstick. So here's what the container looks like. So it's a really pretty container. And then here is what the actual lipstick looks like. I'll get it up there for you guys. I'm trying to get it. There you go. So you can see it. So this is a very, very red lipstick. As you can tell, it is on my lips. I think it's a really, really nice color. It'll be great for the holidays. However, I think this is because I think it said Mega Matte. Did it, did it not? Yes. Mega Matte. So it is a very, very matte formula. Which, for me, I would think you'd want for a red lipstick, you want it to be red. Because, I mean red. <laughs> you want it to be matte because then that way there it's going to like not move around on your lips. Because if you get something that has a lot, a lot of lip, like gloss to it or whatever, a red lipstick with gloss is going to like slot around on your face and that's just not going to be pretty. You're going to end up looking like Miranda Sings. So, and I'm not sure that anybody's got that idea in mind when you go to be wearing a red lipstick. I don't think your first idea is, hey, I hope I look like Miranda Sings when I finish putting this on. So I'm thinking that they gave us a mega matte because mega matte's going to stay in place. You're not, it's not going to move. However, it is not kiss proof. It is not budge proof. It will come off. I forgot to brush my teeth actually before I started filming this. And I like to always brush my teeth because I think, you know, maybe you guys don't want to smell bad breath. No, I'm just kidding. But no, I went to go brush my teeth and I had the lipstick on. And by the time I finished brushing my teeth, and I know that's like an excessive process, but still it came off like the whole part, the middle part of my lips was completely gone. I tried to take a drink and that was coming off onto my drink. So it, it does transfer. This is not like kiss proof or budge proof or anything like that. It's just a mega matte lipstick. I do think this is a great value. I'm not sure exactly what the value of this is for this particular product. Um, I will have it inserted through here because this is a full size. I'll have the price of it inserted. Also, I will have throughout this whole video, I'm going to give you pricing breakdown of these items. So you know what you're getting and whether or not that they're full size or they're deluxe mini size or they're travel size, whatever they are, I'm going to give you the breakdown and the pricing so that way there you can tell whether or not you're actually getting your $75 worth because $75 is a pretty penny to spend on the box. The next item I want to talk about is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. This stuff, I did not like it before. I, I got it like, I think it was in the spring. And I didn't like it. I think the scent to mine was like really gross for some reason. This one smells different for some reason. And I don't know if maybe I got an old bottle or my bottle had been in the sunlight and got it. I don't know. I have no idea. But the first bottle I got smelled terrible to me. This one smells like fruit. It smells like almost like citrusy fruit. So for me, I think this smells really, really good. It is a good hydrating mist. So if you need a hydrating mist, I think this is a great little sample to try out. I think you would definitely enjoy it and it is a very small size. Let's see if I can tell you how big this is. All the sizes are on the back of the box. Um, it says that this is, where's it at? Here it is. Okay. It is 0.24 fluid ounces. So it is a very small size. So you're going to go through it pretty quickly if you like using sprays. But the great thing about this little bottle is that the lid does come off. So if you're planning to maybe use a different type of spray, then you can put your other spray in this. So it's a reusable bottle. 
The next product is the Glam Glow Super Mug Clearing Treatment. So this mask is a very good mask for clearing out your skin, cleaning up your skin. It's a very small size again. This is 0.3 ounces or 10 grams. So it's a really little sample here. So I can show you how tiny this little thing is. I'll show you actually compared to the lipstick. I mean, if you look at the lipstick compared to that, it's the same size. So you're getting just a small size, but it's enough that you're going to be able to tell whether or not you actually enjoy the product and whether or not you would want to purchase a full size of it. So I do think it's a good mask and I think it's definitely something nice to have in the box to clean your skin up with because the other item they have in the box can coincide with it. The other item that I'm talking about is the Ferreo Luna. As you notice, the little container is empty. That is because I've actually used the product to test it out because I want, like I said, I've tested everything so I can tell you guys how these products are going to work. This is really, really cool. I know that a lot of people don't like this one because it's the, the play. So this one is not rechargeable. So once the battery dies, then it's kaput. But to be in the box, I think it's pretty cool because actually to purchase this little bitty thing here, it's $39. I do know that because I looked it up because I was like, wow, I really like this. How much, how much are these things? They're expensive. But what it is, is you turn it on and I'll see if I can turn it on. Maybe. And you can hear it. Do you hear it vibrating? So that little vibration, what you do is you take and get this wet. And then you put a little bit of your facial wash, whichever facial wash you, wash you prefer. I used a little bit of the Glam Glow, to be honest with you, because so, I was like, you know, let's test out both things. And it worked amazing. So you just get this wet and put a little bit of your facial wash on it, and then you're going to start cleansing your skin. You want to remove your makeup before you do it. I did it on morning skin, so that my skin had already had no makeup on it. So I just kind of cleansed my skin again. Oh my gosh, but when you finish using this, your skin will feel so, so soft. I don't know how it does it or whatever. I guess it's all those little bitty nub there's little nubs right there so you can see those little nubs let me see if I can get you to see them they're hard to see do you see the nubs there's tons of little nubs all over this thing right here and what they do is they kind of vibrate along onto your face and they cleanse your pores out and it makes your skin feel really really soft so I think this is an excellent item to have in the box because I think skincare is something that is really really important to your makeup forte whatever you want to call it because your makeup is only going to look as good as your skin is that you're putting the makeup on. So taking care of your skin is very important. And I really think this is a cool item. I know, like I said, it's not rechargeable, but it would give you a good idea of whether or not you would want to purchase the full size. And the full size of those is $199. So I would say if you're going to purchase it, you're better off to try this out first to see if you're going to like it because it's something that's a pretty big expense to jump into. The next thing I have is the Cover FX Bubbly Enhanced Click. So here is what the little thing looks like. It's just a little silver package and it says Cover FX on it. And it's a tiny little thing. It's smaller than the lipstick. But what this is, is a like highlighter. So I'll show you. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Trying to show you guys. So here it is. It's a little highlighter. As you can see right there on the tip. So now we're going to do a little swatch so you can see what it looks like swatched. And there it is swatched. You can see it's just a little, it's like a um, cream highlighter. I don't particularly like cream highlighters, but what I find a good use for cream highlighters is if you're going to put down a highlighting shade on your eyelids, I like to take my brush and rub it onto this and then put it onto my eyes. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but that's how I do it. I put my brush onto it and then put it onto my eyes. And then I put my shiny, whatever shimmer shades like I have today. I have that onto my eyelids. And it really does help to adhere any kind of shimmer or shine that you're trying to put onto your eye. I think it makes a really good, big difference for that. If you're someone who does like cream highlighters, then you will enjoy this a lot. I, however, do not like cream highlighters because for some reason on my cheeks, they kind of accentuate my imperfections. So I don't need that. So I think it's a really cool thing to use for your eyes. Or if you like to use these for your face, you could use it for your face also. And that is a very small size though. So the next item is the NARS creamy radiant concealer i believe that's what it's called let's see let me find the box yes radiant creamy concealer and custard so here is what the actual product looks like so that is the little concealer that you're getting and this is how many ounces the nars radiant radiant creamy concealer is 0 0.048 ounces so it's very very small it's smaller than a deluxe size because i looked it up and i'm pretty sure like the value of this would only be like five dollars and fifty cents so it's it's not a whole lot of um, concealer in here. However, to get to know if you would like the product, I think it's a great size. 
I do like this product. I think it's very creamy. I think it's a very lightweight formula. I think it's a formula that could work for someone who has dry skin like me so that it's not going to cause a whole lot of creasing or anything under your eyes because it is so lightweight. I do enjoy this and I would definitely consider purchasing a full size now that I've tried a little sample of it. The next item is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. So it comes in this little jar here. The jar is stinking adorable. Look how cute that is. And the jar is plastic. And then of course you open it up and it's got your little place where the powder is. I'm trying to show you without spilling it. It's got your place where the powder is. And then it comes with a little powder puff. So there's the little puff that it comes with. I actually really do like the setting powder. I didn't think I would like it because it's, you've heard, I've heard so many people talking about it and I'm always like, is it really that good? Or are they just like hyping it up? I have no idea. Now that I've tried it, I can honestly tell you that I really do enjoy it. I think it'd be great for baking under the eyes. I think that would be a perfect use for it. If you are someone like me who has dry skin and you don't want to bake, then it's still good for setting your concealer. Just go in very lightly with it. I really do enjoy this. I, do, I don't see any creasing going on in my, under my eyes. I think it works really, really well. I would definitely consider purchasing a full size, but this size right here would probably last me quite a while because translucent setting powders, you don't need a whole lot of it. So this is a pretty decent size. And the size of this is, let's see, the Laura Mercier travel, this is a travel size and it's 0.33 ounces. So it's a pretty decent size. So that I would say that you would definitely get quite a many uses out of this. So another great item in the box. The next item is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Impressed Moonstone. So this is Moonstone right here. There's what it looks like in the container. It's like a white, almost highlighter. Becca's highlighters are just gorgeous. If you've never tried a Becca highlighter, I think you have to go check one out because I think you would definitely love it. This one is white. I do have it on my cheeks today. I have that as my highlighter. I really think that it pulled off really, really well, even though it's such a light color and I have more of a medium toned skin tone. It pulled off really well on my skin tone. That's the one thing I do want to mention about this box. I feel like since they've given you a light highlighter, they're giving you a light, um, what is this called? A light a light highlighter and a light concealer. I feel like since I've given you those, they've kind of narrowed down to who this box would be best for. So keep that in mind when you're looking at this because these products are for a certain skin tone. So I'm not sure that this box could be for everyone. So that is something to definitely keep into mind. But this highlighter works really, really well. I do enjoy it and it's a good size. It's the little, I think this is like a deluxe travel size. Let me see how many ounces this is. So it says Becca Cosmetics Shimmering Skin Perfector is 2.4 grams or 0.085 ounces. So it's a pretty decent size. And if you're like me, I'm never going to go through a complete highlighter. So that's going to be enough size that you're, it's going to last you quite a bit of time. I still have a highlighter that's this size that I've had for almost a year. And I haven't even touched pan on that thing yet. So I think this is a great size to try out if you've never tried those before. I think you would definitely enjoy it. The next product is the Nude Beauty Blender. I did not use it. This is the one thing I did not try out because it's a beauty blender and I already have beauty blenders so it's not going to work any different. It's just the color. So they've changed the color of it so that it's nude so that it doesn't show when you have concealer on it and everything which I'm not sure that's such a great thing. So I would think that you'd want to know when your sponge is dirty so that you know to clean it a little bit more. However, I will, I will use this little sponge and enjoy it because I do love the Beauty Blender and the Beauty Blenders by themselves are $20. So right there is $20 knocked off of your price tag of $75. So, you know, this is definitely something great in the box. I'm just not sure that the nude is the best thing. I think the pink is fine. So I think it's a cool thing to have, even though the color is just a little weird. The next item is the Benefit Cabral. So this is a really, really cool product. I had no idea. I've tried a couple of the other new Benefit products that they've come out with recently, but I have not tried the Cabral, and I absolutely positively love this. I love how the little um, tip on this, the brush tip, let me show you the brush tip first of all. Look at the brush tip. Do you see the brush tip here? Do you see how it's kind of like serrated almost? I love how it's like that because if you take that and drag it through your brows, it's gonna mimic hair already. What you do is you take this little brush and then you flip it upside down into your little pot and then you dip out, dip out however much product you need to do your eyebrows. I really do love this. This is not a full size. This is not even a deluxe size. I'm not sure. It's really, really small. Let me tell you how small this is. 
this is 0 0.03 grams so it's a very very small product however it is enough that I'm going to be able to use this for quite a bit of time and know whether or not I'd want to purchase a full size and I can already tell you just by using it this one time that I've tried it I'm definitely purchasing a full size of this because it's absolutely amazing I really do like this product so this is another great thing to try in the box so if you've never tried this before it's another great thing to pick up another great thing to try out in the box so we have two more products that were in the box and the next item is the Kat Von D tattoo liner and it's in the shade trooper so this is her traditional black eyeliner I do have that on my eyelids today I love this eyeliner this is one of my favorite eyeliners to be honest with you because it's tattoo eyeliner you put it on and it's not going anywhere until you are ready to remove it yourself it's not smudging it's not budging it's not moving I really do love this eyeliner I think it's a really really nice one this is I think this is a full-size eyeliner so I'm pretty sure it is let me tell you the ounces of it so you can let me know if I'm wrong um, it says this is 0 0.02 fluid ounces so I, I'm pretty sure this is a full-size eyeliner so that's awesome to get in here because I think a full-size eyeliner is $22 so there's another this and the sponge alone there's $42 $42 I really do love this eyeliner so if you've never tried it I think you would definitely enjoy it let me show you the brush tip on it the brush tip is very cool looking so here is the actual brush tip on this little eyeliner do you see how it's like um it's almost let's see if I can show you this way so there it is see it drawn I mean you can draw some awesome lines with this you can do thick thin it's like a it is a brush tip it's not a sponge tip so it will go into your eyes very easily I think if you're familiar with using brush tip eyeliners I think you would definitely enjoy this if you're used to using like a pencil it may take a little bit of getting used to but I think you will still enjoy it once you get used to it and the very last product in the box is the Estee Edit, the Edgiest Cole Shadow Stick and Multi Stick Multi Regard. And I have the shade 01 Black Viper. So here is what it looks like. That is a little product. And let's pull it open. And there's what it looks like open. So you can see the little tip it has on it. And you can see I've already nicked it. It's got a little bit of black right there. <laughs> I made a mess with it. So this is a multi-stick. So you can use this for eyeshadow. You can use this for eyeliner. You can use it for whatever you want to. I mean, I'm not sure I would use it for lipstick or anything like that or blush, but you could use it for your eye products for whatever you want to for your eyes. I think it works really, really well. I'm not sure I would ever have purchased this because to me it seemed a little gimmicky, but it's pretty cool. So I'm glad I have it. I ended up using this in my waterline, which didn't work so well in your waterline. So I will let you know that it would work well on your eye, actual eyelids and under your eyes. I think it would work really well there, but in your waterline, it kind of bled a little bit. So I would be careful if you're trying to put it there. I did not use it as an eyeshadow because I just did a, a smoky eye and I was afraid, honestly, that this would be a little too dark. I am going to try it as an eye eyeshadow, however. So I just wanted to show you guys this one and like show you the whole thing, actually, and let you guys know that this is a pretty cool box that they have right now. If you're interested in picking it up, I would definitely try to get it before it runs out because I know these boxes sell out pretty quick usually. So I would go into Sephora and check it out and see if it's something that you're interested in. If all these products here are something that you are, have never tried before and are products that you're like, wow, you know, that seems pretty cool. I want to try that. Then I would say this box is for you. If you have full sizes of most of these products, then I would say, no, this, pro this box is not for you. So you just have to determine whether or not you think that the box, the, th the contents in the box are worth it to you to get. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know. What are your, your thoughts on this box? What do you think of it? Do you think it's a good box, a bad box, or do you think the price is too high? Because I think the price is... I don't know I guess for everything that's in it I'd say the price is right so I don't know let me know your thoughts and your opinions and otherwise thank you guys so much for watching and until next time I'll catch you guys later